can't really believe that Nels finds you attractive. Is that so impossible? You are a curiosity to him. And he'll leave you as soon as he finds somebody younger. Someone like you, you mean? You are such a slut. What are you doing here? Isn't that quite obvious? Why do you want Nora when you can have me? Senator Jack Hamilton laid to rest. Oh, cozy, aren't they? Lindy, take it easy. Oh, so now you and the Queen of the Damned are pen pals? No, but at least she doesn't see every mirror as an opportunity. <laughs> what are you laughing at, freak? You weird everybody out. It's a wonder you're sitting here all by yourself. And if Elena didn't have a thing for charity cases, you'd still be all alone. <laughs> like any normal guy would ever talk to you? It's too bad. I guess you're gonna die a virgin. Lindy, sometimes you're just unbelievable. You don't want to do this. Yes, I do. Come on, I know you want it too, Nils. This is not the way to solve your problems, Chrissy. I want to forget my problems. Is that so bad? You should go home. Oh, is that really what you want? I know you're Wonder Woman and all, but us mortals, we need some fluids, so I'm gonna well go then. get a drink. I guess if you have to have a drink, I'll join you. <laughs> oh, you're so good to me. Hey, Dylan. I know how much you love my <gasps> Sorry, Kayla. You... Hello, it was an accident. Yeah, right. I just bought this yesterday. Well, trust me, I'm sure the Salvation Army will give you a refund. Besides, if you're asking me, an improvement. You know, Lindy, it's funny. I thought you, of all people, would know the difference between something new and something used. You know, Lindy, sometimes you can be so... Dylan, it really was an accident. Jody. Come on. <laughs> Who cares what Lindy says? Leave me alone. Jody, just come back to the party. It's gonna be okay, don't worry. 
Jody, please, go away and leave me alone. Forget about it, Jody. Come on. Don't let her get to you. Jody, come on. Leave me alone! What don't you understand? A couple of hookers I talked to said Arlene Kelly worked at the Dark Angel. Went by the name of Gabriel. Sweet. Jackie Daniels things? Yeah, and I'm getting a feeling there's a connection between these ladies. All right, what about the modeling agency in town? Allure. I left messages up the wazoo for this Terry Martin dame who runs the place. Nada. The woman's book more than Madison Square Garden. Anything? Let's see. We got, uh, what's this? A couple lotto tickets. Losers. No surprise there. Peppermint breath spray. Compact. Mascara. Midnight blue. Protection. Tweezers. Ouch. What else? Ow, damn it. right at home here at the Miami PD. <laughs> Must be the uh, familiar realm of due process, eh, amigo? Incarceration is such a highly overvalued concept, Commissioner. Gives a man time to take stock in his life, to, to, to make sense. You're not gonna tell me you found God? Oh, no, I must be whole. I've resigned myself to the essence of justice. Essence of justice? Wow, that's that's pretty heavy. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd think you were some kind of highfalutin philosopher instead of a dirtbag criminal. What do you want? A little old-fashioned justice, Commissioner. Payback. Can I count on your cooperation? <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? I'm okay. My portfolio may need a little work. I'm really sorry. No, I'm totally kidding. It's okay. Okay. Just having fun at my expense, huh? <laughs> well, I, uh... Tell you what, why don't I buy you a cup of coffee to make amends? I, um... You really like that word, don't you? <laughs> I'm gonna be seriously late to my job interview. And I've already missed the elevator. So I guess you're stuck with me then. I mean, the least I could do is keep you company, right? So, where's your interview? Avanti Fashions. Hey. <laughs> you can't leave. We're up four games to one. What am I going to do without my star player? Why don't you ask Lindy to play? I'm sure she would love to join in. Because she might break a nail. Cute. Where the hell is Jody? Kayla, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down, all right? All right. Kayla, wh why are you going to leave? Give me a favor and tell your little girlfriend to back off. Hey, 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 we've been through this. She's not my girlfriend. Well, somebody ought to tell her that. Look, if you see Jody later, just tell her I'm looking for her, OK? Like she's going to listen? Or haven't you noticed? She hasn't been talking to me lately. Whatever. I'll just see you later. <sighs> no, Chrissy, stop. Come on. Come on. Come on, Nels. Just go with it, OK? Well, I, I like you, Chrissy. I, I do. I know you I... do. I can't understand why you waited this long. Well, that's not quite what I meant. Come on, don't fight it, OK? Just let it happen. I can't. Forget everything else. Look, Chrissy, I'm, uh, I mean it. I love you. I love you, and you love me, OK? No, Chrissy. What do you mean? 
I mean, look, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah, well but... then stop acting like we don't care about each other. What well, care about each other? There is no each other. There, yes, there's there, no yes, us. there is. No. Just go home. You don't mean that. I do. Didn't you hear what I just said? I love you. But I don't love you. Tailwinds. Huh. Oh. Welcome home then. Um, can I can I get you a cup of tea? I missed you, Nora. I don't suppose you believe that. Well, should I? You didn't call, not even once. I was about to from the airport, but I wasn't sure you talked to me after the way we left things. Pretty badly, I'd say. Yeah, me too. Well, I tried to call you. Yeah, really? They said you were busy. <laughs> well, it wasn't a pleasant trip. Plus there was work too and... Always work, isn't it? And then the time got away and... Uh... Yeah. I know, I've used that excuse once too often. Yes, you have. <clears throat> anyway... What needs to be said? Is what? So many things. I agree with you. They have to be said face to face. I suppose. Do you think we can do that, Nora? Of course. I'll go and get us some tea. Read my lips, Roberto. I want you and your slime ball operation out of this town. I am a legitimate businessman, Commissioner. My ass. You wouldn't want to take away my civil liberties, would you? I mean, how would your constituents feel about that? Cut the crap, Brenda. I know what you are. And I know who you are, Officer O'Keefe. <laughs> it's a cleansing experience to remember your past, don't you think? Well then, you uh, must have heard all about a little thing called balance of power, right, Roberto? See, while you were doing needlepoint with your boys in lockup, it shifted. Oh, on the surface, perhaps. In my favor. I see. I'm running the show now. Power is such an illusion, Commissioner. Just when you think you have it close to you, it vanishes. As our friend Jack Hamilton found out when he tried to call out for his friends. I don't need friends like you. Oh, I see. That's too bad. I'm watching you, Roberto. Once I'm elected mayor, you and your little roach motel are through in Miami. That's a campaign promise. Yes, but first you have to get elected. Is this your son? Is it? I'm sure you're very proud of him, and he's proud of you, too. Ciao. Officer. Okay. Denise, right? Can I help you, Detective? It's nice to be remembered. You know, I never heard back from Miss Terry Martin. I don't know, maybe it's me, but I'm getting the feeling your boss doesn't want to talk about Arlene Kelly. Is that true, Denise? Why don't you ask your boss if she can give me five, maybe ten? I mean, right now it's a polite request. By tomorrow, whew, who knows, uh, I might have to ask her to come downtown. So what do you think, Denise? Do we do this the easy way or the hard way? If you wait a moment, Detective, I'll see if Miss Martin's available. Take your time.
O'Keefe. Hey, Cap, what's up? I'm on it now. Right. All right. All right, I'll catch up with you later. And keep me posted if those lab guys turn up anything else, okay? Out. Ms. Martin is on a conference call for at least another hour, but she said you can wait if you like. You tell your boss to get in touch with me as soon as she's done with that call, okay? Don't let me down, Denise. I'm counting on you. I'm not. It's because of Mum, isn't it? Chrissy. What kind of a hold does she have on you? This has nothing to do with Nora. Yeah, well, I don't believe that. I don't care. She's not good for you. Can't you say that? I'm not discussing Nora with you. Well, she can't give you what you need. Chrissy. I can. Look, I'm trying to be nice. If, if you just give me one chance, one chance, now please, I'll show you. No, no, I don't want you. I don't want you. You bastard. You two deserve each other. I haven't been much of a husband or father, have I? Well, your work always came first. You deserve better. So do Chrissy and Alex. They really love you. What about you, Nora? It's not an easy yes or no answer to that. For the last five years, you spend more time at the lab than you have in your own house. You hardly know your own children, Stefan. Yeah, I, I'm really sorry for that. But it doesn't mean I don't love them. <sighs> Those are just words. Do you have any idea how miserably unhappy Chris is? Or that Alex is a, is a finalist in a songwriting contest? Or that I've been so... I'm so sorry, Nora. Really sorry. Well, that's just not good enough. You can't just walk back into our life and expect everything to fall into place in some nice, neat order. It doesn't work like that. You can't treat people like that. I'd like to try to make up for everything. If you let me, tell me it's not too late. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. <sighs> so are you a model? Oh boy, you obviously don't know a lot of models, do you? <laughs> no, I'm a fashion designer. I have an appointment with Antonio Avanti. Antonio Avanti. You gotta help me out here. Name doesn't ring a bell. Should I, should I know who that is? Not unless you read Vogue cover to cover. Uh, see, I knew there was a reason I should have renewed that subscription. No, seriously though. Antonio Avanti is one of the most famous fashion designers. Well, I'm impressed. Maybe one day I'll be able to say I knew you went. Except you don't know me at all. Ah, uh, true, but um, hope springs eternal. I'll keep that in mind. You do that. I have a nice life. Yeah, you too. Oh, and uh, knock him dead. Thanks. comforting the widow at his best friend's funeral. You want to hang him out to dry for that? Harry, do you need a stronger prescription in those bifocals? Or is Martin Devon not giving the merry widow some serious mouth to ear? Okay, if Anne was fooling around with Devon, how come she waited a whole year before she married him? Ever hear of a little thing called tasteful discretion? Besides, Martin was still married to Catherine. I mean, as soon as he cut his ex loose, Anne moved in and started redecorating the master bedroom. You call that a coincidence? 
All I'm telling you to do is forget the Devons and get your tush down to Miami PD. Get me copy on the dead hooker. I need a headline and I need it yesterday. Is that a veiled threat? I don't make the rules, Crystal. If I don't get a headline, we get cutbacks. Are you hearing me loud and clear? Yes, I'm hearing you. Commissioner O'Keefe. What's up, Joni? I need your signature on these releases for the campaign. Not a problem. I'll be right back after the city council meeting. Okay. Anything else? What's this one? The authorization for your background check for the election committee. Standard stuff. The commissioner won't be a problem. Because I said I would handle it. Look, some things cannot be rushed, amigo. I, I gave you my word that the port would be secured, and as soon as Jamie O'Keefe is elected mayor of Miami, I will have him exactly where I want, which is right in my vest pocket. Como no? Hasta luego. Ah, mi amor, what a pleasant surprise to see. Can we talk, Daddy? Of course. Uh, is there a problem? Is something wrong at school? No, school's great. I just want to talk to you about something. It's about my mother. Can't I wait until Mr. Avanti's done with his meeting? I'm sorry, but he's booked full the rest of the afternoon, Miss Hamilton. But can I reschedule you for 3 o'clock tomorrow? Sure, I understand. Uh, 3 o'clock tomorrow? Thank you. Mr. Devon, I didn't see you come in. Yeah, I uh, took the stairs. Was there a pretty young lady just here for the interview? Yes, sir. We had to reschedule her for 3 tomorrow. 3 o'clock. Okay. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> 